Content warning. Ladies and gentlemen, the following podcast is not suitable for all audiences, and viewer slash listener discretion is advised. For example, if, when you just heard the term ladies and gentlemen, you immediately thought about how exclusionary it is, then it's probably best you turn this off now. One of my worries about coming on this podcast is is not only seeing something horrific, but finding out I'm in the summit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hello, welcome to Dead Man Talking with me, Rob Mulholland, and him, a fat cunt. Hi. So, uh, we've got an episode for you today with our mate Jamie Hutchinson. Uh, we enjoyed the record so much, he stayed and did another one, so we've got another one coming up next episode with him as well. We've had a lot of fun recording these. I think you're going to enjoy them. I think we've... It, it, half of the thing was just me taking pictures of him and just how horrified he looked. It's amazing. If you want to see a, a sweaty ginger man look disgusted, you are in for a fucking treat. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But like Gordon Strachan managing a club in Scotland. <laughs> <laughs> also, we've got some big news to announce. Uh, you people have been requesting it for some time. People have been hinting at it, and we knew that we were, this day was going to come. That's right. Rob is finally going to eat some of my jizz. I'm going to guzzle it down. And if you want to see it, go to patreon.com. Hey! Now we're launching a Patreon. Hey! It's at patreon.com forward slash dead men talk pod. Dead men talk pod. There'll be a link in the description. Uh, basically, we need one because you know all the videos we play, we can't put them up anywhere. <laughs> yeah. Instant bandage. Instant bandage. Yeah. And I know that nowadays podcasts are like vehicles for fucking income, mm. uh, where it's like literally they set one episode of the like we've got a patron sign up to it right now it's not like that or anything yeah. like that so, <laughs> yeah. i just saw so, out of camera that i just saw jamie hutchinson look at me with the most skeptical look and laugh yeah. fuck but you know what i mean we yeah, literally yeah. need to put this somewhere yeah everyone's asking about whether or not they can see the videos and the only way that we can think of doing it is by having a patreon yeah we can't even put them on patreon though so it's gonna have to be a little bit more elaborate the way we're doing yeah this. discord exactly so what we're going to do is we're going to set up a discord server for the podcast um we will link to that in the description it'll be on all the social medias and all that basically discord's like uh, it's sort of like a whatsapp group uh, combined with like a, an online forum if you've never used yeah, it yeah you download it it takes literally two minutes it's very to simple out. you'll work out how to use it and we're going to have a members only section on there um, so basically you'll get the password through patreon and on the members only discord is where we will post the videos you'll be able to see Poo Guy and Choo Choo Steve and all that sort of stuff. We'll stick yeah. them up on there. You'll be able to submit videos through there as well. Also on the Patreon, you will get the Sunday episode a little bit early. Yeah. And in future, because you know we're putting out uh, videos every Thursday and Sunday at the moment, in future the Thursday episodes will be Patreon only. We're not doing that yet, right? Don't worry. We're still just going to put them out to public for a couple of months. Yeah, yeah, Eventually, yeah. though, it'll be one of them on Patreon, one not. But you'll get things early. You'll also get early access to tickets and things like that. But it's the only way that you can see these videos is signing up on Patreon and then going to the Discord. Now, because we want to like reward people being on early, and there's not that much stuff there yet, we want to, you know, people who are getting in early, we're going to do the first thousand memberships at a pound a month for life. So if you sign up now, you will never pay more than a quid, no matter how much we put stuff we put out all up there. The yeah. live shows are going to be on there as well when they happen. We're going to film and put them up on the Patreon. So get on there if you want to be one of the first people supporting this awful shit. Because let's be real, no cunt sponsoring it. So, no, no. <laughs> No, no one wants to be associated with this. So no, no it's, it's 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 either going to be like <laughs> this. Uh, this to kill now. <laughs> yeah, this this man eating his own jizz was brought to you by Manscaped. Yeah, it's exactly. Not... So right, sign up on the Patreon so we can afford to eat. But also, uh, we're going to put loads of shit out there. It's going to be dead fun. So come join the crew in it. Uh, but in, without further ado, should we get into the episode? Let's watch the episode. Uh, he is the host of the Green Room podcast from Hot Water. It is Jamie Hutt. Hutchinson, enjoy. Hello, welcome to Dead Man Talking with me, Rob Mulholland, and Freddie Quinn. Oh, I've been I've got a button. Oh, no. Yeah. 
I thought that was my internal monologue then. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I did say on a previous episode that I didn't want to be a soundboard podcast. And it's taken six episodes six for that to episodes. change. Well, I'm, I'm nothing if not a hypocrite, mate. Uh, and also, when I said that, I didn't realise the level of quality clips we were going to be creating on this podcast. Yeah, really this like. is this is a peak soundboard podcast. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, so, so Jamie, you're wincing. You don't know what that is. That's yeah. a man gargling liquid shit in his mouth. Well, no. Well, all right. Spoiler alert. Come on. Like, we're going to show him that video later. Oh, are we? Well, well yeah. We well, still will. Well, I was wincing because I thought it was a frog, and frogs make me a bit sick. <laughs> right. <laughs> you're going to well, have you... a very long couple of hours. You get flashbacks of being gonged off. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, I would suggest if frogs are an issue, this might not be the oh, right pod for yeah. you. I'm, I'm very, very, very low for <laughs> yeah. Well, good to have you, though, mate. Thanks for coming this on. This is going to be funny as fuck. Have you got any new ones? Any new vids? Yeah, I've got some vids for later. Yeah, cool. Yeah, 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 I've got some racked up. Good stuff. Yeah. But uh, as we record, um, we should point out it is the morning after the Oscars <laughs> we are currently recording. Yeah. And some shit's gone down. Yeah, some mate. shit gone down. Do you see it, Jamie? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm fucking, I can't believe, I think, I've seen Will's reaction, that's, it's, it's, um, post-cut clarity, because he's just had years of being labelled this cook, and he just had enough. I know. That is, it is, it's years of watching your missus get railed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Eventually, you're like, I'm not having it. Keep my wife's name out. Your fucking mouth! Yeah, if I was Will Smith, it wouldn't be a name I was worried about being another fella. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mate, the slap as well. Yeah. The fucking... Do you know what? I don't get people. I, this is why I fucking hate people. You look on the internet, people yeah. are like, huh, it's fake, it's a publicity stunt. Yeah. For what? Yeah. I know, because that's one thing. Chris Rock needs a po- profile boost. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. He's well, only hosting the Oscars, the I, peak of entertainment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before this, people were going, Will who? Yeah. <laughs> And like, Will Smith was 10 minutes away from winning an Oscar. Oh, well. had to kill the back oh, no. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, I'm really, I'm really sorry about that. I did kind of overreact. Yeah. But um, love makes you... That's what he said, didn't it? Yeah. Love makes you do crazy things. I know. Wow. I bet his publicist was there, like, watching that unfold. And she was like, all right, well, when you accept the Oscar... Don't say anything that makes you sound like a fucking abuser. Uh, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Love makes you do crazy things. Yeah, it's fucking wild, isn't it? Because I, like, I, I might, like, I think the most, like, funny take I've seen is when people are being like, it's a medical condition. It's fucking alopecia. It's know, not fucking tit the, cancer, the is thing it? Is, he said, <laughs> he, he, he compared it to. G.I. Jane, a massively strong... He didn't say, yeah. right, said Fred. Yeah. It's yeah. not like a comical say, like, bald. the end of milk. Yeah. Or, or <laughs> Jade Gooder. Fucking it, Dallas it was, Buyers Club. It, it was at least comical milk. Yeah. Uh, comical bald. Well, like Will Smith fucking laughed. Hello. He laughed. You don't get to be know, angry but, at a joke. You've already laughed at. But then he went, oh. <laughs> it's yeah. like, oh, shit, I have fucked this. <laughs> But yeah, like it's madness. Like there is a little moment where I think I could see Chris Rock judging whether he should double down, and then realizing there was not any security and going, "I ah, know." Well. Nah, he handled that like a fucking professional. Oh, mate. totally. He did such a great job of that. Yeah. Because no, sold the slap for a start. Oh, no, just yeah, yeah. yeah, just it. stood it. And bear in mind, Will Smith's a foot taller. Than He's him. a lot bigger than him. Fucking. Yeah. Took the slap, said, said what are you doing? It was a yeah. G.I. Jane joke. What do you think you're fucking doing? Yeah. And then he let Will Smith keep my damn out your fucking mouth. And then he was like, okay, right, okay. And he's like, okay, coming up next. Yeah. And he fucking just styled it out. I know. He could have gone, what the fuck are you doing? Oh, easy. You fucking oh, idiot. I think I would have made Ritten. another joke. Oh, you got like, it. That's the, mo- yeah, that's, yeah. that's the thing. What's well, a very bold move, Will? <laughs> 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 it's just like, uh, like, uh, like my favourite uh, reaction so far, uh, my favourite tweet I've seen, JJ Whitehead, you know him, like American yeah. comedian, love JJ, good guy. He tweeted, Will Smith needs to take a long, hard look at himself in JJ's Z. Oh, that's, that's funny. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Someone tweeted me and said, if Jada doesn't find jokes about her loss funny, uh, sorry, if, if Jada doesn't find jokes about other features funny, that's her loss. Yeah, it was yeah, like... Yeah. Works really well in the Preston accent. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Written especially for you. Eh, lost. Yeah. Eh. But yeah, fucking wild, isn't it? I genuinely, I do think for the next few weeks I'm going to be a little on edge, you know. I know, like, it's going to... 
It's gone. It's set a precedent for Daz. Who's got me? Exactly. Me. Like you're talking to my wife. Take yeah. my bloody wife's name out, you man. Did I tell you about that. getting squared up to a, a fucking uh, Jim Howarth gig about right. six you're, weeks? You're, six with you, ago. it's more overling up, isn't it? What? <laughs> oh, I see what you've done big... there. Why well, won't do what? Big fat cunt. Big fat cunt. Did you did, did that happen because you pressed it several times? Yeah. You were so, so excited, excited for it to work. Oh, it's got a little lag on it. Fat fat cunt. It's got a little lag. Fat fat cunt. But I hate the fact that it feels like it's a remix. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Oh, no, I can. Big fat cunt. Big fat cunt. Well, it just played like five at once. Okay, that's yes. a horrible. Uh, do you know what? Don't tell me what other ones you've got. Okay. <laughs> I want it to be a journey. Yeah, sure. I want it to be a nice journey. Well, I'm, it's going to gradually expand as we go. Well. You I've got limitless space on here, so I can... You are the smile of a man that's just, like, found power. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Right. Yeah. I've just got little buttons. But, I've got a bit of control now. It's great. You're going to be like Pavlov's dog. <laughs> just being sick every time. <laughs> that, that fucking get... I'm going to get a little guilty boner. <laughs> I thought you were going to yeah, yeah, yeah. be like Pavlov's dog. He was going to play something I was going to eat. <laughs> <laughs> He's already doing it before the melt. <laughs> doing my own fat jokes. Uh, so, yeah, I was, doing, uh, so I was at this gig, yeah. right? And um, I'm doing a, 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 my stuff, yeah. and they seem to be liking uh, more of the dark stuff. And uh -huh. so you know what I'm like with me? That's like yeah. a fucking red rag to a bull. Which, which where, where was it? Which uh, it was at uh, the Blackfriars Theatre in Boston. Um, right. That makes it sound really glamorous. Uh, right. But no, like Boston, it was a, Lincolnshire. a community was led theatre in, in Boston, Lincolnshire, to right, about 120 right, right. people. And then I did uh, the joke about parents trying to make their kids go missing. Mm -hmm. And then that got a laugh even out. So the whole premise is that I built one woman up who was an older woman who was just stony faced throughout the whole thing. And it even got a laugh from her. And I was like, brilliant. I was like, it's not even my worst joke. So I did my worst, worst one about. Um, uh, uh, blowjob, my girlfriend. Have, have I told you this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, so the bit, if you don't know it, is um, uh, my girlfriend. <laughs> my girlfriend makes loads of really weird noises during like. oral. <laughs> <laughs> so the bit is, my girlfriend makes loads of weird noises during oral sex. Like she'll be giving me a blowjob, and she'll. Be <laughs> What? That was Choo Choo That's Steve. Choo Choo Steve, yeah. But it felt like an impression of me telling a story. <laughs> yeah. That's why I love it. <laughs> That's my impression of you. Yeah. It's Choo Choo Steve sounding like Freddy. I fucking love it. <laughs> well, I'm certainly looking forward to never being able to tell a story longer than three minutes on this podcast. <laughs> also, yeah, we've got the buttons with the ADHD. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what as well is, is, is I've looked and I know which button that is now. Yeah. And because I can see the side of your fucking sound booth yeah. thing there i'm gonna be able to watch your little finger go towards Ooh. it and that's like the red light it's like wrap up wrap up here we go fucking christ so anyway i did just love like a kid with a new song oh, sorry, sorry. So, <laughs> so i did my bit about uh maddie mccann kids going missing uh -huh. right and then i did Are you saying they, they got upset at that no no and i and then i did <laughs> i did my bit about um uh you know girlfriend makes loads of weird noises doing all sex should we give me blood she was like, oh, uh, 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 and I think the reason for that is probably because she's disabled. That's the bit. And it was amazing. It, it got an applause. More highbrow Freddie Quinn comedy. It got, a, I got an applause break. Got an applause break. Come on, Boston. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you were theatre. So, <laughs> then, in a community theatre, you oh, expect then, better. Then, you expect hello? better. You expect then, a little more. Right. They so, put Macbeth on in there. So then. <laughs> so then. <laughs> <laughs> he uh, a, a guy at the front and because it's bleacher style seating everyone can see the guy at the front guy at the front gets up to leave right and i have a rule as i've said before if anyone gets up to leave it's fine i'm not that dicko that's like oh, oh. can't handle me yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I'm not that guy he gets up to leave and he takes a ridiculous amount of time leaving leave because he was upset or just well or something. so he i don't know because mm. he gets up to leave and he takes ages getting up, and then he puts his coat on in a really laborious fucking oh, yeah. way. And I and maybe it, this guy was the same because it's <laughs> because it's taken him nearly a minute. Are they allowed coats? <laughs> Are they allowed coats? I think they can spend their bennies on whatever they want, mate. 
fucking hell. I just, I don't know, maybe, you know. I don't know, that me is what it sounded funny. It did sound funny. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like her coat's got sharp edges yeah. or something. Get off that. It's a shacket. <laughs> anyway. She lays only for you. Anyway. You know what happens with arms? <laughs> He puts his coat on in a really slow, deliberate way. So what I do is I just stop talking yeah. mid-sentence and wait for him to go. And that gets a laugh because I go like that. And he goes, if you want to know why I'm leaving, I think it's disgusting you making a joke about those two girls. So he, he confused Maddie McCann with Holly and Jessica for a okay. start. Uh, Dude, they both was... happened so long ago. <laughs> <laughs> fucking no he, goes, he goes, he goes, he um, goes... To be fair, like, Maddie might be in two bits now. <laughs> he's, he's fucking... Uh, <laughs> he said, he said... Uh, she might have changed teams when Rooney left as well, so she might have been a United fan now as well. <laughs> All right, you're right. She wasn't a glory supporter. Come on, don't tarnish her with that. Bro. He's just wept. He said, "He said if you want to know why I'm leaving, I think it's disgusting that you're making a joke about them two girls, and my daughter's disabled." Yeah, and then he left, and I have never oh. bit my fucking lip because yeah. I was desperate to go. She give good blowjobs then. <laughs> I, I was desperate to, right? I didn't say anything like this. Oh, Keep no. your dick out of my daughter's <laughs> fucking mouth! <laughs> but I just thought, he uh, w when he was leaving, he was like, and I'll see you in the car park afterwards as well. Oh, right. And I was like, all right, okay. I know where you're parked. <laughs> <laughs> That's very convenient. <laughs> <laughs> So, you're definitely gonna have to go past him aren't you i, no, I just no avoiding that i just thought it was so funny that like if your daughter genuinely is disabled yeah. and you're really upset and offended by that then fair enough but maybe lead with that do you know what i mean yeah. so maybe you lead and go i'm leaving because i'm really offended because my daughter's disabled and also that joke about the that wasn't on either yeah. like you wouldn't go yeah first of all that thing that happened 20 years ago that I have no connection to. You don't know he's got no connection to it, mate. Like, you don't know that. Oh, you're telling me... He, he, might, be, been, he might be mates of Ian Huntler. Could have been a know. Portuguese waiter. <laughs> 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 but, I yeah. cooked them ta tapas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm haunted by that calamari. <laughs> <laughs> it's the most cursed gambas peepee -pee I've ever if made. If I was a bit quicker serving the plates out, she'd still be here today. <laughs> The problem with tapas takes a while to get around all the different bits. I can never it? look at patatas bravas without <laughs> getting guilty pains in my stomach. Um, yeah, man. But it's, it's, have you ever been fucking punched or anything at a gig? I, I've had people try to. Yeah, I've had it times. loads. I've been squared up to. Yeah. Um, I was doing a black tie event. Oh, for, thank God. For, 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 <sighs> Halfway through that set, <laughs> I got worried. <laughs> I don't think there were any black ties. <laughs> I'd, I'd, uh, this is like the naivety when you started out. I did a black tie event for Barclays. You know, that Nutsford Centre. Yeah. And right. I got about 50 quid. Oh, no. Oh, Barclays. Yeah. Oh, my so, God. So, mate, you get more for referring someone to a <laughs> bank account with him. <laughs> you get 100 if you sign your mate up to a current account, you fucking egg. Oh, what do you mean you got 50 quid? Should have opened a genius savers. Because I'm ban you. I've done two black tie events <laughs> for a combined fee of 75 quid in oh my career. Oh, my God. <laughs> right. You stupid guy. So I was starting out, and it was, there, was, there was four comedians on, and yeah. we all sat on the stage, like oh, on stools, no. and then we all got up. Like to, fucking like, Westlife like before Westlife, the key change. Like yeah. Westlife doing a solo. So yeah. you got up and did your solo bit. And I, I made a joke about Manx and Scouts' arguing's pointless because it's only right. Warrington in the middle. It's just really yeah. hack, low level, no, not offensive at all. Yeah. It's also someone else's bit, that. Is it? Yeah. When? I thief. think it was. Mine's better, though. I think repackage it. Yeah, you, you finesse I defo it. think Warby used to do something like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, Scousers and Manx will never go to war because what is there to fight? Oh, no, over? it weren't like that. Oh, right. It okay. was, yeah. it was uh, Manx are dicks, Scousers are assholes, which makes Warrington the gooch. Oh, so right. Okay. Yeah. It's the yeah, same yeah. thing. Ironically, that bit isn't worth fighting over. No, no, no. 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> Let him have it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't need to sue anyone, do we? <laughs> what's, in, what's in the middle? Just a, a fucking 10 spot for Spiky Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. Um, 
Yes, and this guy just heard me say scouters are assholes, but I'd, right, I'd yeah, yeah. preface it was a Manx addicts as well. Of course, of course, of course. And he's just, what are you doing? Oh, scouters, lad. Because yeah. famously, they take everything in good humour. Yeah, and, uh, really, really uh, love a bit of self deprecating humour. Yeah, just, scouters. just, 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 square, it. just squaring up to me, and I just fronted it because I was, I had like an arrogant persona, sort of like a, a Liam Gallagher swagger. Right. But I, I was Didn't shitting. have the airline for it. <laughs> no, but I was shitting myself inside. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, but I had to like swan it, like look, yeah. like really reserved. And then when he got dragged off by uh, bouncers, then I started. There we go. Pay more than fifty quid. Yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I've been squared up to. Yeah. Have you as well? Several times, yeah. Like um, the Edinburgh Festival happens quite often at late night shows, like, you know, like one in the morning, everyone's shit faced. Uh, like, I had one where, like. <laughs> I thought you were just going to say shit. Well, yeah, also that. But yeah, I've, I've had it a few times. I had, like, one guy take a swig at me, but because he was so pissed, it just, like, sort of went in front of my face like that. And, like, I just said to him, I was like, so did you just try and punch me? And he was just, like, this nerdy guy who clearly built up a bit too much confidence because he yeah. was pissed. And he just looked a bit, like, shell-shocked before the bouncers grabbed him. But like, he was just someone I'd asked to stop heckling someone else at the back of the room. I was like, can you just, you know... It's the most Rob Mulholland reaction ever. Did you just try and punch me? Well, it was, like, it was just confusion. I was just like, did you... Was that an attempt at punching me? I can think of a couple of times off the top of my head when someone's gone for me. Yeah. I did one game in Wigan and there was a lad out with his mates and this lad clearly had learning difficulties like yeah, it was in Wigan the <laughs> yeah. mayor that's <laughs> <laughs> why they pronounce it like that the mayor uh, so he, he, he was clearly had, he, he was one of those that like you've got something wrong with your syndrome do you know what I mean like but, is, that, is that what it's called yeah but you know exactly what I mean though don't you like I'll describe it more yeah <laughs> And all his How mates. damp was his chin? <laughs> <laughs> How flat was his face? <laughs> just too far apart or too close together? <laughs> just a wild, just a rough estimate of chromosomes. How many? How many, oh, How many chromosomes are we talking? Mate, like... <laughs> one too many, one too short. <laughs> Mate, it's definitely one too few, I think. He, he, so he, he, all his mates were, were sort of ganging up on him. They were going, go on. Go over there and fuck it. He's taking the piss out of you, that comedian. Go over there and fucking twat him. So the guy comes up to me, walks up to me on stage, whilst I'm midway through a bit, and squares up to me on stage. But he's not He's not my height or my sort of, dare I say, mass. Do you know what I mean? Sure. No. Like, Very little is. <laughs> he's got enough problems. Yeah. <laughs> If he was your mass, he'd be blocking the Suez Canal. <laughs> You've got to have two of you in the same building. Two fat monks. <laughs> I don't mind it when it comes from Rob. Because Rob's got a legitimate fucking thing, because he's skinny. Yeah. Whereas you're also fat. Yeah, yeah but not I to the same it. degree. Yeah. No, quite. I would say same degree. Yeah, I'm sorry you would say that. But you know, <laughs> yeah. You're not very good yeah. at judging weight, are you? <laughs> Oh, this is going to be a fucking rough... I'm really happy to... You're 18 game. minutes in. I'm Dear having a great God. time, mate. So, so he, he squares up to me. He squares up to me on stage. Uh, and there's, there's a good fucking 30 seconds where he starts, like, not pushing me, but he sort of pushed, like, with his chest. And has I'm it, like... Has he looked at you and gone, this is how this guy fights? Oh, no, yeah, yeah. Sumo. <laughs> yeah. but, but I was like... I didn't know what to do because I was like, either... This kid with learning difficulties is going to punch me, yeah. or I'm going to fucking twat a kid with learning difficulties. Yeah, it's no win. It's like I'm wrestling a girl. Like you either win and well done, you beat a girl, or you lose and you know your you masculinity is gone. Like you know, there's no win. I, there, lost to a, I lost to a, a girl arm wrestle on a night out recently, and I played it off like a letter to win, but I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> she just twatted you. I played it off to the rest of like the yeah, boobie. Was like, what sort of yeah, like? Yeah, what yeah. sort of girl was she like? Special in any way? Yeah. She was special at arm wrestling. I the <laughs> no, I meant like, was she like a bodybuilder? Because I've I've arm wrestled female bodybuilders before. That fucking no, because yeah, like, I'm very weak. I'm I've got like long thin arms and short fat legs, like an orangutan. <laughs> so I've got no proportion. same hair as well as an orangutan, <laughs> haven't you? Yeah. And smell <laughs> sloping brow. You know, they've got a bit more pride. Though. <laughs> I think they're a little cleaner. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Groom themselves a bit better. <laughs> Spend some time picking the fleas off rather than just you know growing them as a colony i i, I genuinely 
I um, I worked loud pets as a kid, and I kept when I had nits, I I felt of them like I was head of the head lice. <laughs> You're taking you them, honestly. You had pet nits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the most grim fucking yeah, poverty story. Head, head, head of the head I lice. Was, yeah. I was so poor in my day. We had to have pet head lice. <laughs> head of the head lice. I just though. wasn't allowed pets. Yeah. So then when I finally I wanted something to care for. Did, why were you, you why were you not allowed well do you know I think I know why you weren't allowed pets but yeah. why were you not allowed pets um, well I had because he'd squeeze them too hard exactly because well, <laughs> his mum had read of mice and men <laughs> well, I, had, I had one I had one of nits and mongs <laughs> Um, my uh i had a goldfish this will be the one won't it this will be the fucking one go on i had a goldfish so i i I used to eat my own jumpers (laughs) take it for a walk (laughs) no so i used to eat my own jumpers right yeah i mean i mean that in itself is a reason for having a a pet draw you just chew your sleeves yes of course you've got nits and you chew your own jumpers i'd I'd gnaw through sleeves you one of the bash street kids (laughs) you'd gnaw through sleeves yeah and that's why you weren't allowed a coat. No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I weren't allowed coats. Why is he allowed coats? <laughs> That's why he thinks they're not allowed. <laughs> You're not having a coat, you'll chew right through it. Um, <laughs> so I used to eat my jumpers. Yeah, yeah of course. And, and my mum's mate, her son, used to eat his jumpers. Oh. So, so wait, 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 wait. Because you used to eat the sleeve of your jumpers, yeah. and with your mum's mate, you did that as if he'd eat the centre of the jumpers. Eat center. Did you swap? Well, this is it. No, so fuck my, off. So my mum said, well, let's get the manga out together because none of us had friends. Yeah. Um, you do it, shop. You'll be a little friend. What, clothes swapping? Like like Jack Spratt and his wife? Yeah. And then my mum came in, walked in on us swapping jumpers. So I had to go with his sleeves and he had to go with... How old were you at this point? Seven or something. 28. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um, anyway, I weren't allowed to hang out with any <sighs> anymore. He moved. So my mum went, I'll get you a goldfish instead. So you've still got a mate. She can eat that. <laughs> and um, I named the goldfish Jonathan after yeah. my mate who, who left. Oh and my, my mum said, said it killed itself because I they gave it a stupid name. So she late. <laughs> what? Yeah. So does your mum think people called Jonathan should kill him? <laughs> it's not that weird a name, is it? That's a perfectly normal name. I think no, but I, I, I think, think it's because you thought, go by John. I think it's because she was getting. I was. De- I was getting dead close to him, and she wanted me to distance myself from what? him psychologically. So you were yeah. getting too close to this fish. So your mum? No, I got too killed. close to my mate, right. and she went. He moved away. So, so then, I weren't, I weren't so hanging around with him. To try and get you unattached from your mate, yeah. she bought you a goldfish yeah, but, that you named after it, yeah, yeah, and then yeah. she killed it and said that it had killed itself. Well, it because, died of natural causes. Right. But then she said to you that yeah. it had killed itself because it of stupid. the name. Yeah. Wow. So we, like, allowed... we are not the people who should be telling this story. Yeah. <laughs> I weren't allowed, so I weren't allowed pets just as a consequence. So I think she thought I'd get too well, close you co- to them. Call them with a ridiculous name. I yeah. didn't, no, this didn't... one's called Brian. He's I... only got 10 weeks left. And I, was, yeah. I was really upset about the goldfish dying. So I was like, oh, I'm not going to put him through a dog dying. Um, so when I finally got nits, I was like, oh, fucking puzzling. I've got something to... Like a, you know, did you keep them anywhere? Did you put them in a tub or well, something? No, no, just, you know, just let felt, him, it just, it felt quite relaxing, I thought, when they crawled around your head. And then my gran, um, she killed them all. Like, breaking back, the necks? Breaking the, cracking the backs, yeah. What? Yeah. Can you do that with nits? You can pick them up and just crack them? You do it in the head. So she cracks them and then gets the, like, the... Uh, Shampoo. Residue. She's got a fucking comb. No, she does it like bang. She was proper. She was like the knit nurse. I called her Adolf Nittler for years. <laughs> <laughs> the knit cracker sweet. Fuck you now. Yeah, so we had knit combs and everything, but she used to just sit there like two orangutans picking mites out yeah. of each other, and she just used to go. <laughs> you really are the fucking missing link between ape and man, aren't you? <laughs> You got three days with this cunt on the Isle of Man. Three goddamn days with this dude, Ignacio Lopez. It's gonna be great. So I've either I've either got a fucking chat about fucking having nits as pets and yeah. talk to the fucking waiter that didn't serve the tapas quickly enough for Maddie. <laughs> Do you know? What I mean? It's gonna make you a little nit paella. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Fucking hell. Yeah, I think wow. it's why I don't love now. 
Yeah, probably. Yeah, that'll put you off. Very, very. Thatched, See, I, I never, mate. I never had like nits cracked like that. Like, I'm, I'm sure we talked about on here about my mum looking up my ass to look for worms. <laughs> yeah, yeah, worms? yeah. Well, you know, you got to see if there's worms up there. She used to look up my bum if I had worms. Yeah, yeah. Telescope. Yeah, not with a telescope, obviously. <laughs> That's so well worth um, killing nits with just your fingers. Well, like, in what way? In what way is that? Because it involves your anus. Well, yeah. I heard yeah, a great. I get that, but like, I think it's a more regular method of determining. So there's worms. I heard a great Shampoo. story. What should you do? Finger me. Oh, leave some spam there. See if they want pop Lure them out. Yeah. <laughs> like little, baits. Little fishing rod. <laughs> I heard my bum out. I heard a great story about Jamie. Yeah. Right. And this was at the uh, the Have a Word um, Half Blind Date live show. Oh yeah. Have yeah. you have you heard this story? I, I've I've talked to Jamie about the event. Yeah, we've got to be careful with this because I had to bleep it from your own podcast. Okay, so yeah. you can say it. But just, okay, well, I'm. We've I'm, got to keep it anonymous. Right. The, okay, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> keep it anonymous so Editor Sam doesn't have to go through okay. bleep everything. So um, they're doing the half blind date, yeah. right? And there's a. a girl that is in the audience or one of the fucking you know if any of this needs to go let us know (laughs) attractive right Uh and jamie's speaking to her you know whatever and um adverted yeah yeah yeah, okay (laughs) jamie's job nits jamie's Jamie's flirting (laughs) with her and then afterwards she starts flirting with adam and adam goes i need to go for a piss oh yeah right and she goes to adam how about you come back to mine and piss in my mouth yeah what a fucking trooper yeah and he was like i'll put a pin on it but you know uh whatever you know like maybe we'll swap numbers or whatever and the next day they're having a pint at mccoolie's and adam meets jamie and they get talking about this girl so i met this girl last night she was great she had fucking whatever blonde blue eyes whatever he goes oh she wasn't called um rebecca was she that's not her actual name um he goes, I just looked to Jamie for confirmation that he'd actually he changed goes, it. And he goes, um, yeah, that was the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, <laughs> and Adam went, she um, she asked me to uh, to piss in her mouth. And Jamie goes, oh, he looks, looks devastated. He goes, she wouldn't even kiss me. <laughs> he goes, she'll happily let Adam Rowe piss in her mouth yeah. but kissing me oh no that's too degraded yeah it's got in mate i feel fear i don't know i feel fear well but you know like clearly but, that is someone who is like not that into kissing and eye contact and all that sort of stuff that's nah. not the main thing they're going for in that situation so so i would say i'd yet i'd let scarlett johansson piss in my mouth yeah but i wouldn't let like the woman in spa kiss me I mean, yes, you would. Like you're acting like. So in this analogy, Adam Scarlett Johansson, (laughs) (laughs) and you're a woman in spa. (laughs) But you get like, like success and fame changes the fucking Mm. dynamic. Oh, fat girls pissed in my mouth before. You've had girls piss in your mouth. A girl piss in my mouth. Really? Yeah, but not. Voluntary. How? How? Right. So, like, what? Where were you? Were you in? A, were you just in bed? Were you not in a bath or anything? No, just... no, no. On the dining table. On the dining yeah. Table. Yeah. Of course, that's where you go. The place where we eat food. Of course. We don't eat food at the dining table. <laughs> I've had that. Laugh. That's for like jigsaw. Yeah. We have the dining table for show. In case yeah. anyone posh comes around. <laughs> <laughs> and then you can get them to piss in your mouth. <laughs> yeah. um, Do you know what? Now you're thinking it. Uh, now I'm thinking about it. I'm the same because I've got a dining table and I've never fucking eaten on it once. Yeah. I know I did once Christmas Day. Yeah. yeah. So when, when when I was still a virgin, what two weeks ago? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> well, the soundboard comes. Yeah. What, yeah. Two weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so that's Jamie on the dining room table. <laughs> so, I, so I pulled some fat bird from the taxi queue. Some fat bird from the taxi. Yeah. Well, we, we, oh, when, we, you, when you're pulling in the taxi queue, that's beyond lights have just come on in the club, isn't it? That's yeah. real last resort. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, my we mate pulled her mate because they were good looking, and we were the two spar employees. <laughs> <laughs> 
She was on the deli, I was on the bakery. Uh, As if they've got a deli in spa. Uh, what fucking spa are you going to? They've got a lottery counter, that's it. It's a fucking spa. Well, she stunk like the fishmongers, anyway. <laughs> she, was a fish, she was a foshminger. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so, um... We were in the taxi, and I'm about I'm 18, 18 at this point. She's running her fingers through me, going, oh, God, I love your hair. So I had it like... <laughs> Why's my hand itching? <laughs> have, you, have you got any pets? <laughs> yeah, you've killed 12 of them. <laughs> so uh, we go past my house. My mate and her mate are still in the taxi. And she goes, oh, can I have a piss in your house? I went, yeah, of course you can. <laughs> <laughs> Do you need a toilet or should I just lay down on the dining table? <laughs> so she goes for a piss. I wait on the radiator for her, right? So she comes back from having a piss, starts kissing me, and I go, this is my moment to shine. So I'm still a virgin, so I'm like, oh, this monkey off my back. Cause you, I, it, at this point, I didn't fancy her, but at this point, I just need to lose my virginity because I can't be the last in the friendship you. group. Picked her up, swept the dining room table, so everything, fruit bowl everywhere, right? Um, threw her on the table. As if there was a fruit bowl oh, in your house. There was no fruit in it. Just like, <laughs> Car keys. Yeah, letters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> what, bailiff bill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A lot of red letters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, yo, know, swept the dining room table. Put her on there. Goldfish goes flying. <laughs> <laughs> but because all the blood had gone to my head, picking the cunt up, I, 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 I couldn't get an hard on. <laughs> He's there looking like Eddie Hall. So I, oh, so I had my pants on my ankles. Little, little walnut whip Man, sticking out. Man did the Atlas Stones. <laughs> 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 After he pulled her, he pulled a jumbo jet with a rope. <laughs> Got a taxi home. Um, uh, yeah, so I thought I'll just go. I'll just go down. And it was like the first time licking a fanny. Yeah. And I thought this doesn't taste like I thought it was going to taste. Uh, <laughs> and I realised we we don't usually keep toilet roll in the downstairs toilet. Yeah. Um, and <laughs> she'd not wiped herself, so I was just licking piss off her, and then she had a follow up dribble in my mouth. Oh my god! It wasn't even like an attempt at like a wild, sexy thing. No, no, it was, just, it was like just her, blackness. Uh, yeah, it was like her pelvic floor had gone, and it, she, <laughs> it was like it was like she was leaking and using me as a bucket. <laughs> oh. Yeah, like a, oh, 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 oh. How, how much would you say, like milliliters? Uh, would uh, you got not a lot, but it is it is a lot, isn't it? Like ten yeah. mils, ten mils is a like, pint in piss. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's exchange rate, isn't it? No, oh, I, man. I get what you mean, man. Like, a tablespoon is going to feel like yeah. a half But I didn't, want, I didn't want her act offended or anything. Sure. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. No, so like, I, I was still making, like, groaning noises. Like, I should have fucking... No, should have slapped her. Get your piss out of my mouth! <laughs> <laughs> but no, I do know what you mean, man, though, because like, I've been, like, I've been uh, shagging a girl from behind before and noticed a big streak of shit on her ass that she's clearly missed. I've seen that. Like, Thing. And like being the gentleman that I am, I just fucking carried on. Yeah. Just like you can't bring it up, can you? Yeah. That's gonna you because I and like you can't stop then you're blue balling yourself. If you point out the shit, that shags on. I've seen that thought it's fake tan before. It was that bad. <laughs> it's a proper it orange of shit. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's quite normal for women to fake tan the inside of their fucking dead cute bunches. girl next door type as well yeah, i was yeah, like yeah. oh dirty yeah. girl well everyone shits in it yeah so like you know but it's one of those the illusion's gone now oh i yeah. know you shit now yeah 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 yeah, yeah. i know but i don't want to know yeah, yeah, yeah i don't have to think about the consequences of it yeah. a so, girl fighting on my leg in bed went for a shit and left before i shagged her as well once <laughs> so she fighted on your leg fighted from your leg went for a shit and then went left just went out the window just left Ghost. I thought, I thought, yeah. She went, oh, I'm going to have to go. So wow. I, don't, I don't know what went on there. Well, you've clearly done summer. <laughs> The, like, thought, the thought of shagging me getting for the shit. <laughs> Stomach just went. Do you know what? You were laying in bed and she was like, how can I get out of this now? And she just forced to fucking turn out of herself. Actually, I think she might have sent in a little video, actually. This, no. This, this, yeah, this, this, already? This woman might have sent oh, in a little video. Oh, not already. Uh, got hold oh, on. God. Uh, Jamie, very, just warned. Yeah. Oh, just oh. Warned. oh, all right. Yeah, anyway, no, she's quite oh, fit. Yeah, she's gorgeous. Yeah, Absolutely. she's not one of Jamie's, is she? No. Uh, 
wonder if I can hold these muscles at the same time. No, she's not gonna, a poo's not gonna. No, wouldn't be that, would it? She's doing a little bit of pole dancing. Lovely, like, <laughs> spinning so around hard. on the pole. Okay. No, but yeah. She don't break her legs, does she? No. And there oh, oh my god, no! Oh my god, no! Oh my god, no! Oh dear god! Oh! Oh! Look at that! Look how much it is! So, that is, for those of you that are just audioing, that is a really attractive woman, kind of dressed in a, a sort of like a flowery elf She looks type like she's lingerie. at Glastonbury on Midsummer. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, she pole dances, uh, she gets her legs up the pole and just squeezes out a shit and pisses everywhere. It's but so much poo. But the shit, there's, there's lots of It comes of out like one of those cartoon snakes. <laughs> <laughs> legs is up with a little fake can of peanuts. <laughs> <laughs> it really doesn't it because that's what like that's it's so much but just a little cable little cable and then what oh, oh, i did it and she's like i did it there's something satisfying about it <laughs> oh this is the problem with showing knowing, jamie this stuff knowing knowing her <laughs> release there's something what quite relaxing and no nope. this is like asmr for jamie yeah no but if you know the relief of needing a shit and then going for a shit it's quite oh i don't think pole. that's what people are getting out of this i didn't think i'd get it out of that <laughs> <laughs> i actively avoid shit video Dude, she's on a, she's now on a, i've seen it she's I've on really a pole in something the in you. yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, no. my God. oh yeah oh yeah you, well, you can't do this at a public club can you you got to do this in your home pole this this um <laughs> like a polish refugee <laughs> <Your home. laughs> i one of my worries about coming on this podcast is is not only seeing something horrific but finding out i'm in the summit <laughs> yeah and yeah. that's just happened has it that could happen just the, it's just the real there's yeah. a well, I think she's an absolute trooper. Uh, thank you for whoever sent that in. What, I think what it's proof that fit people can get away with so much more. Absolutely. Yeah. Do you well, know what I mean? Because if she was like, my name's Beryl, and I'm going to... I still think there'd probably be a market for that sort of thing. You know, like, once you get into the poo porn, I think you've got to take whoever's willing to do it, you know, mm. at that point. She's got to be making a killing doing that, surely. Oh yeah, because she's got to be, be the fittest she'll shit be... porn. <laughs> yeah, she's got to be top of that. That trip. is a low bar, oh, isn't it? Yeah. Exactly. You little, can either be this burns unit. <laughs> you can you can either be the fittest of shit porn yeah. or the forty eight millionth fittest, just Regular normal yeah, threesomes. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it's like being the best musical comedian. No one respects <laughs> it. <laughs> That is, no, there is a lot more dignity to doing that than doing parody songs. Like, yeah. I would much rather shit myself on a pole than go on TikTok and do parody songs. I'd, I'd rather follow that. Yeah. I'd rather yeah. follow it on stage. It's a lot more entertaining. Yeah. yeah. A lot more entertaining. Yeah. Yeah, at least there, the shit's not going to a beat. You know? <laughs> she doesn't stop just for an applause break. <laughs> Oh fucking hell! Anyway, do, do you want to do you want to say something else? Oh, no. What what category is it? In? I don't I don't know actually. I don't know I don't know which one I'm going to show you first. Oh come off it, really? Well, no. Like, well, uh, Jamie, do you like do you remember do you remember Kim and Aggie? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. the yeah. cleaners. The cleaners. Oh, that's what. Really? Are you opening with the same? I'm just yeah. Like this the... is how he opened with me. You you crack on. No, no, I right. don't like that. No, it's just you know how they came up with like their thing was like they come up with new methods for cleaning. They'd be like, oh, you can use vinegar instead oh, of white, like, white wine vinegar. Yeah, they do white, a lot of that white, sort white of wine on red wine. Oh. Well, that's it. Yeah, it's interesting that isn't it when people come up with new ways of cleaning things. Oh, no. I think that's an interesting thing, isn't it? So let's see how this. It's not going to wash stuff with poo, is it? No. Right. <laughs> what is it? It's just someone with a foot on the back of his head, and he's just gonna. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> well, there's a thumbnail for us. Are you all right, Jamie? <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, I told you it was bad, wasn't it? 
Do you know what? Chip and Huggy. Do you know what? Chip and Huggy. You're right. Showing it other people it's is really way more fun. fun. It? It's so way more fun. I was fun. explaining this to Freddie because he's like, how do you enjoy this? Because I show him these videos and I piss myself laughing because I get sent them. I have this reaction, but then I go, oh, I get to show Freddie. That's what the sound is. Do the sound. Yeah. That's where that's from. Oh, I wish it was a frog now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I don't think I've got the Choo Choo Steve video saved on it. I'll 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 uh, I'll get that so for another time. I've got to show you Choo Choo Steve at some point. How's he done that? I know. Imagine being into it. I know. Like it's it's genuinely amazing that he's able to do it. Like able to keep it. Down. <laughs> wow. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. A little really bit came went. from me then. Yeah. Nearly went again there. Right, let's get it's it. a little bit late in that one. Whoa, mama. Um, and then we watch these videos, then we go for a kebab. That's yeah. um Do you wanna um so yeah, like we've got a bit of a re recurring character on this so far. We know him as Poo Guy. Poo Guy. Turns out his name is Naked Martin. Is right. that Poo right. Guy? This isn't Poo Guy, no. That isn't Poo Guy. <laughs> <laughs> the one with the mouth full of extra. <laughs> It's not referred to as Poo Guy in yours. No, Poo Guy is a different guy. I love, how, I love how we're talking about him like he's a fucking ex-midfielder for Blackburn Rogers. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Well, we'll get... Poo Guy. <laughs> <laughs> fucking great off corners. Great touch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, no, we'll... Smoke 40 a day. Someone, Ran the game. Someone, uh, someone sent us another video. So his real name is Naked Martin. Well, it's not his real... I don't... You know, his name's Martin. Okay, okay. <laughs> so, so, yeah. It's not really nominative determinism at yeah, work, yeah. is it? So we got sent in another little video from him. What he does, he likes to do like, sort of like cameo style things, this guy. Uh, so let's have a little look at this one. I haven't watched this one all the way through. Poo and lasagna sauce. No. That looks like... No. Here we go. No. Oh, no. Catch it. He's shitting out into ah! his hand. <laughs> He's shitting into his hand. Oh, it's so much. Oh, here we go. Handful. Rub it on his chest. <laughs> All over his head. I think I'm going. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't watch it. <laughs> He's rubbing it everywhere. I can't watch it. I can't watch it. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, a little bit of Dolmio white sauce. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mate, I think I'm... Let me set that off, honestly. That's as, that's as close as I've ever come to being sick. Genuinely, that's fucking horrific. That's... That's if... Um... <laughs> That's if Jeff Innocent changed his name to Jeff Guilty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That right. was the bit where just, I could feel a bit. Just, right, get, gather yourself, because there's a bit you, you need to watch. No, I can't. Come on. You can. Be a big brave boy. Be a big brave Dude, boy. Come on, this be a big brave boy. too much. Just watch his little celebration at the end. <laughs> oh, no. Freddie, when's your Dolmio day? <laughs> Imagine he got sponsored by Dolmio. Hey, I, I want to see the puppet version of this. Right, just watch a little celebration of this. <laughs> what a fucking what? lunatic. What a man. Right. What a man. So the, the the pasta sauce does make it worse, doesn't it? It's mad that you'd think the shit would be the worst thing. But when it mixes with the pasta sauce... Don't it give him it credit like, like he's no. some sort of artist no. for what he's doing. Oh, you're saying this isn't art, Freddie? Yes. You're saying this I'm isn't saying art? I'm saying quite literally that a man's yeah. shitting and covering himself in his own feces and throwing fucking bechamel sauce on himself is not art. That would, that would, sell, at the, that would sell at the tape. Yeah. It's, it's only like Tracy Emin. Exactly. <laughs> She made a she made a mess of a bed. Yeah, he's a modern don't, day G.G. Allen. Don't don't fucking. Oh my god! I think it's because that sauce is is quite rich. Yeah. It's a bit much, isn't it? Oh god, only half. Surely it's a bit much. So there we go. So, but because I found him, I've now found I've found a contact for him. So I'm going to start getting videos made. So what can we get him to do? So he likes his shit. What? I think we can get him to do fucking anything, Freddy. I don't think this guy's got a fucking limit. But so we, we've just watched him smear great, his own shit over how himself. How great? How great would it be if we found that limit? Yeah, we got 
that's too rich for me. But, so, like, but what is great about this video is we did when the first video we saw of him, he shits in his hand and rubs it on his face. But you don't see the shit come out of his ass. So we were speculating as to whether it was fake. Yeah, so because it, it came out so perfect. And it looked like because he was just doing that, so it he could have like pulled a... it out from somewhere behind it. So we but no, like, oh. we know that this man is true to his art. Is oh that no, what yeah, saying? no, this man yeah. is legit. Like yeah. we watched that fully come out. I'm of just the glad ass. he's got a hose behind him there. <laughs> <laughs> he's he, at least he, doing it in the right he place. He could claim that back off expenses. Is gonna... <laughs> yeah, that has been used for work. That's like when we get a notebook. <laughs> if you zoom into that fucking hose, it says moleskin. <laughs> Mate, he, he needs those guys from Chernobyl. Like fucking power washing him down. There's no amount of cleaning that fits Do you reckon he's that, got a it? wife? No. <laughs> Do you reckon he's got a wife? Of course, if he does, she's fucking wrong as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you know, and he might, he might not be straight. She's, she's She's in the fucking, she's in the living room pole dancing. <laughs> <laughs> Whole house fucking stinks. Mate, like, it, to be honest, it'd be hard to find a wife if this is what you're into. It looks like a nice house as well. Well, it, you know, maybe by your it does look, it, No, 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 I know what you mean. It does look like the brickwork on that looks yeah. nice. Yeah. Well, yeah, it just looks like, well, it looks like a really standard, like, suburban house in Britain. Imagine you saw that over your garden fence, <laughs> you know. It's horrific. So what can we get him to do? We, again... Literally anything. Okay. Does he do shout outs? Does he do, do, he does shout do outs? Yeah, so like at the start of some of the videos, could, like I'll, could... show, I'll show you this one. This one's a, a shout out video uh, that he did that we, we had a little watch of last oh, time. Oh, God. Um, thinking of you. No, can't do it. Can't so do it. He's a so chopper. Thinking of you, Luke Morgan. So, you know, shout someone out. Yeah, he's got a reasonable one. Can't do it. It is also fluffed in this one. He's yeah, I, I, can't, I can't even. Oh, God. Zero. Do you know what? I'm taking the headphones off because the sound of him eating it is going to drive me insane. Oh, my God. Yeah, Jesus. so he's just, you know, he's getting himself all there. God, ready I wonder what go. he's thinking about. <laughs> Nothing nice. What could, what he's just thinking about like the morning that, after a curry. <laughs> what makes a man like that? <laughs> Guinness shits. Here we go, we're nearly ready. Nearly ready. Oh. I feel like he should have prepared a bit more. Could have done this a bit quicker, I think. You know. Here we go. Yeah, oh, he's nearly there. He looks like Tim Ely. Here we go. Oh. Oh. But she's going. You've got to watch. Look in the it. eye. I heard about that. <laughs> Tell me when it's over. It's over. It's, it's over now. It's over. It's, it's over, over now. Safe to look. Safe to look, Jamie. It's over. It's over, mate. It's over. You can see it the monitor. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie, look at it. Oh. <laughs> 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 so that's that's Martin. You know, Rob told me about this video on Friday. <laughs> I've not wanked to have a sandwich since. <laughs> I think he's gonna go. You know, we've ruined <laughs> Jamie's two favourite things. And I was on three a day for each. Subway's <laughs> <laughs> so wondering where he is. <laughs> like ringing his house to check up on him. Do we send someone round? Yeah. Oh, you've not ordered your six-inch mayonnaise, is yet? <laughs> Yeah, it's intense, isn't That's it? That's one of the worst things you've ever seen in your life. Well, yeah. let's see if we can top it. Um, this is a video I got sent by a lot of people. A lot of people sent me this one. Okay. Um, like, lo like, shout, thank you if you sent what, me this. What bodily fluid is it? It's not, it's, not, <laughs> it's not a fluid, this one, actually. All right, okay, we're not so, that predictable. Oh, so, it might, that so, so the way I see Rob's thinking is he usually starts with a couple of gross Fucking ones. Fucking period mm. baguette or something. <laughs> I thought you should say that, actually. I'll, I'll show you a different video. I wasn't planning on showing you. Watch him. Watch him. Watch him. Oh, my 
god. You can do a whole fucking thing about the reactions for Hutchie. <laughs> it's the fucking Honestly, best, if you're just listening to this podcast, watch this one on YouTube. You, you've got to watch this one on YouTube because we're going to have a straight zoom in on Hutchie's face. <laughs> Mate, there's a, whole, there's, a, there's a camera just on him. <laughs> it's perfect. It's absolutely fucking perfect. Yeah, I wasn't even going to show you that one, but as soon as you so, brought up the period began. Yeah, <laughs> honestly. So, so careful what you say. So, so this one, I think it's going to be like a. <laughs> <laughs> this one's going to be a horrific injury, I think, because no. that's the way that Rob usually. No! Let's have a little look. Oh, injuries make me cry. Too much of a fucking take. Popped it. <laughs> so, so let's just very quickly. <laughs> oh! oh! <laughs> so hang on, just pause it. Let's just describe what's going on for people who can't hear so, this. There is a lady who. She, she, I think it's fair to say she's got a fair bit of plastic surgery. Do you think? A little bit. I think she looked like she might. Mate, even even Katie fucking Katie Piper would look at that and go, "That's too much work there." Right. <laughs> Katie Piper, I think, is understandable. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, she's um, she's she's in like sort of gym clothes. She looks quite upset. Uh, and she's just about to know what? Tell. <laughs> Do you know what? She looks like she looks like she would have been a really attractive young woman about twelve surgeries ago. Yeah, and. She uh, well, she's going to need one more, is what I'd say to you. She puts her top up, and what I can see, or what we can see right now, is one tit. It's um, if, yeah. so, if some for the audio listeners, if it's someone left um, a waxwork of Pamela Anderson near a radiator. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's pretty bang on. And she, I think she's going to lift this up, and we're going to see her. Do you want to? Do you want to? Do you want the reveal? Disease tit. <laughs> <laughs> No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. 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 A fucking pit explode. Did it go over a neighbour's garden? It's a <laughs> moment. <laughs> It's why long side, doesn't it? Yeah. It looks like a penny floater. Yeah, this kid's playing. Is that what you call playaways? Oh, no, we're not doing that. Oh, we're not is it a bomb? Uh, yeah. We're not a fucking yeah. Facebook post. Yeah, we call it dad. different things. Yeah. Lad we're, Bible, yeah. shut up. <laughs> yeah. We're from different places. Did different you call than regional it? Slang. Hey, they call it knock a door and then run. Fuck off, you boring cunt. It's a, I hate that chat. Yeah. I'd rather but, watch that man eat cum butties and talk about yeah. fucking. 100%. But talk I about thought. Muffins. I thought that it was going to be the massive tit that was the problem. Yeah, like well, I, it was. It, it was. <laughs> it clearly was a bit too big. The tit couldn't handle it. Do you know what, though? Is what the, did you think it was? The way that she fucking is reacting is like she couldn't possibly have foreseen this coming. Well, yeah, I think even, no matter how well, big you, you get your it. fake tits, you don't no. think they're going to explode. I don't think you expect that. No, but look at the size of them on her. Sure, but I reckon that'd but still be a surprise. It in her, she's put it in a professional's hands. Yeah. Well, not that's <laughs> not a professional, professional. job. Yeah. That's not a professional job. That's turkey. Yeah. You know, that's on a flight. Yeah, they were doing turkey. Paul Smith's yeah. teeth in the next yeah, room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, loads of people sent me that so one. Look, so thank you. Do you, want to see, do you want to see some more? See what she says at the end. Looks upset. Yeah, she's got a pop tit. It's just um, let's have a look about here. Here. Oh my god! It's the bit where you can see inside, it. It, isn't it? You can see like inside when she does that. Look, you can see inside the hole there. How, Jamie? How much to fuck that hole? <laughs> What would she have to pay me? Yeah. Oh, I, pay her. <laughs> I don't think she'd go near me. <laughs> do, you reckon you, do you reckon you get turned down she by she said Tammy me, Wanted? She said my tits popped up my brain and my standards. <laughs> <laughs> my tits deflated, but my bar still high. Yeah, my ego's not. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Wow. Yeah. See, I feel sorry for her with her pop tit. Like, you know, that's got to suck. I don't feel sorry for her. Yeah, well, again, because you don't have human emotions. No, 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 no. I'll tell you what it is, is she's done that to herself. Yes and no. Yes and yes. Yeah, but it's her right to do it. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> fuck off. Jamie just believes in empowered women. Yeah. yeah. Empowering them to piss in his mouth. <laughs> Mate, come on, like, I, I honestly think that, like... I mean, hopefully she's not going to do the NHS with that, is she? Well, I uh, I don't think they'll put a new fake tit in, but they will sew up the hole. I think they'll do that again. I think even that. Do you know what? Honestly, she would get gaffer tape in my in my NHS. Yeah, she get she get a gaffer tape over the top. They go on your fucking way. You dealt with that problem. You made that problem. You fix it. Yeah, but they're not there for like moral. I told you. 
They're not there, but yeah. they've got to do it. They've and, got... like, pretty much all health conditions are caused by the person who's done it. Like, I'm just saying, you, yep. with your bills, yep. probably don't campaign for the NHS to stop treating people and they shit can't, done to they themselves. they can't judge. So you have that um, the Hippocratic Oath, yeah. is it called? Yeah. So even if, like, a paedophile yeah. came in, a doctor... Got, oh, I broke the... my dick in a child. <laughs> 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 really tight, really tight. Oh my Snapped God. it. Where's the child? I'm not making two journeys. <laughs> I've only got a two seater. Oh, yeah. yeah. Have you tried fitting a, a fucking child seat in a Merc? It's hard work. Oh my dick in a child. Oh my God. This is no. This is gonna hurt. I can tell. Nah. Is that a worm? No, it's a pen. That's a fucking biro coming out of a cock. That's a biro coming Whoa. out of a penis. And I don't want to be a part of this world anymore. Fuck this yeah. is... That's good, that. That's good. good. How has she done that? Because it's quite a small knob as well, isn't it? It's, like, it's what? quite a short dick. I'll tell you what. Yeah, thing. that's a Bucky's pen. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. I was going to say <laughs> next, time, Argos. <laughs> next time Jamie's in a lab room. <laughs> oh, mate, could you imagine if the next fucking clip was him with a fucking uh, slip and he writes out 310 <laughs> Kempton. <laughs> <laughs> Seven to one, oh, trap six or whatever. Quite impressed with that one. Yeah, it's pretty good, isn't it? Like it's like the ping pong balls in Thailand. Yeah, yeah it's like the male equivalent. Yeah, finally, finally, yeah, we're getting some equality. We're getting balance. a shot on that circuit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I think that's all I've got to show you today. Yeah, thank uh, for now. For God. now. Um, you know, I might show you some more later if you're still about. Why is this podcast popular? Because people are fucking horrid. Like, it is horrific, isn't it? Yeah, that's why I love it, mate. <laughs> I find it very, very funny. It's therapeutic in a weird way. It's like purging, isn't it? Mm. You know, like the purge where they get you all that. Maybe purge a bit after what? one of your like dinners. Loon. Yeah, yeah, but 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 you're purging your, your the depths of your emotions. And then you come out, you have a kebab, and you feel great, and then you do it again, and you fucking feel dreadful. Yeah, stop trying to intellectualise this shit. <laughs> Purge the depths of your soul. We're watching a man eat cum. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. We're not doing a great philosophical fucking... Do you know what? The sandwich made it worse. I don't get why the bread makes it worse. Did you butter it? <laughs> I don't think you need to at that point. It's like using mayo instead, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> That'd be worse if you made if you did it on the outside of a toasty and then put it in a pan. I think it'd make up. it better. You think that'd make it better? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because because they come a crisp up at least. Yeah, like you know that's why. Yeah, it's again, the like, texture of cum. Good. Yeah, I'd actually rather eat crispy fried cum mm. than <laughs> crispy fried cum. Yeah, mate. Fuck, let's KFC. Get down, let's get down Chinatown, <laughs> innit? it. Oh, don't, I'm not. I'm not pulling anything up. I'm just checking if I'm. I'm just trying to find uh, Choo Choo Steve, but I'm not sure I've got it uh, here. I think I'll have to go load it up. But... Do you get videos sent to you like this? Oh, hello. No, oh. we got it. We got oh, it. We've got we've got Choo Choo Steve. Got, we've got Choo Choo Steve. Do you, see, do you see Choo Choo Steve? Do you like trains? Do you like trains, Jamie? Not particular. No, no this isn't someone like you know, jamming a train up the bubble no. or anything like that. Oh, I'd love to see Francis Bougain do that. Well, this is it. This is the. This is our new Francis Bourgeois, right? Bourgeois, um, he he's um, he is a man. Uh, who the, the fans of this podcast know very well. They they will know him. They love him, and you will too. His name is Choo Choo Steve. <laughs> Backing mixer. Right, for a start, what the fuck does he say? Right, Backing there? mixer. Backing back in mixer. <laughs> Backing back mixer. Oh, yeah, probably. Go on. Go on, say Choo Choo Steve. Go on, Choo Choo Steve. Here we go now. Rub it in your outfits. Go on. Go on, he's fucking Captain Navigator. Look at Navigator on his fucking arm. Go on. How many times have you come and do it? Go on. How many times? Tell me how many times you've come. How many times? Yeah, how many, how many times have you come? Call me Steve with a tank engine. Call me Steve with a tank engine. Come on, Choo Choo Steve. Choo Choo Steve. Choo Choo Steve. Choo Choo. Come on. Choo Choo Steve. How many times have you come? Come on. Come on. Right, that's that's about thirty seconds of it. We've got another couple of minutes. That's fucking weird sex talk, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Oh, like going, we'll be calling it non-eating. <laughs> it's no content. <laughs> oh, what? what's it? Shoot, shoot, see. <laughs> I fucking love it. 
it's <laughs> horrific, isn't it? And the thing is, as well, is what a champion some women are. Yeah. That they're putting up with that, even though she's just not, she's not into well, that. Well, like, I've realised I could have been pushing it a lot further than I have been doing. You know, if you can, if you can get away with, like, you know, if you... Do you know what? This is her story. You know, you were talking about fucking seeing the, sh- the skid mark yeah, and yeah. just carrying on. Like, this is her... This guy called Choo Choo Steve. Yeah. This is her fucking skid mark story. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to start calling myself bus replacement Jamie in the future. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, tell me. Yeah. <laughs> You'll still come, but it might take longer. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is why I wanted to show you this, Jamie. I was wondering if you were related to Choo Choo. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah. Who's your fucking guy now? One thing, one by two colleagues. Where are you from? Where are you from? Where are you from? Where are you from? She doesn't want to say that. Give me a replay now. <laughs> You better take some fluids on. Fuck off! Where are the best pasties, Chin? Where are the Wearing a spastic chin. wetter than a spastic chin. Is that what he says? <laughs> How did I miss that first time round? He actually I'm, says, I'm during sex. Yeah. Wetter than a. Yeah, he says, uh, wet. <laughs> wetter. <laughs> Where are the best pasties, Chin? Oh my. God. I mean, if ever there was a man in a glass house throwing stones. <laughs> Wetter than a spastic chin. I'm a finger bastard champion. Finger bastard champion. Choo choo, Steve. Choo choo, Steve. Shout out to the board, man. Steven the tank engine. Say, Steven the tank engine. Steven the tank engine. Call me captain. Martin. Come on, captain. Fuck off. Yeah. Captain Pollard. Oh, God. Oh, Steve Pollard. Ah. Oh, God. Got it. Good titty, sweetie, ah. Victor. Oh, God. Ah. Look at this. Fucking legs are blown off. Oh, fucking. That's it. Someone's going to fuck up for legs. Fuck. I'll be real again. Jesus Christ. That yeah, does sound like... Oh, oh, stop it. That does sound like you have to get some scaffolding up here. Yeah. That's not how Try, I... Trying to do metaphors in bed. Yeah. He's, <laughs> he's, he's fucking loads of them. He's mixing his metaphors is the problem. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's not... That doesn't sound like me or look like me or anything like I mean, me. The, the tits are too small. Hey! Judge, 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 judge. because he's a big fat cunt. Uh, <laughs> I need a fork. Uh, get somebody uh, in here. Get somebody in here. Uh, uh, no, 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 Take us, Brie. Take us, Brie. Go on. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah. Tap the door. Oh, come on. <laughs> How can she be in the moment? Oh, oh, oh. You're in WD-40. Uh, oh, you fucking uh, little bitch. Uh, turn your fucking phone off. <laughs> what me? You've got a lot of work to do, you. That's it. Yeah. Turn your phone off. I can't believe she's in the moment. Turn your fucking phone off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna you hit. should play that at gigs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mate, I'm going to have it on the soundboard for when we're doing the live show. <laughs> Just Turn your like... fucking phone off. Yeah. Turn your fucking phone off. That's really funny. Yeah. That's really fucking funny. <laughs> I mean, so there's Choo Choo Steve. People like this exist in the world. Yeah. Carlisle, we've heard. I know he does for a living. Well, it's... I hope not train <laughs> Mate, if you're ever getting a train round that neck of the woods, watch out for your conductor. Sanitise your hands oh, okay. after you've had your ticket punched. I'd yeah, say. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, mate, could you imagine if, if you were just on the fucking train and you heard that, tickets, please. I'm like, oh, it's him. And you look at the name tag, Steve. Yeah. I'm like, sorry, Mr. Pollard. <laughs> The finger blasting champion. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's got a little medal. He's got a little medal in the shape of a finger round his fucking neck. Love shape of a train. <laughs> and it Why all makes it? sense. Choo choo sleeve. Oh, yeah. 
So this is what we get sent. Um, so yeah, if anyone uh, watching or listening wants to send us more, 07520 644 931 is the WhatsApp number. That WhatsApp folder now, I genuinely have to like, I have to have a little word with myself before <laughs> I open yourself. it. Yeah, like I a stiff a, drink. Yeah, because I'm, <laughs> fi- I'm the filter stage as well. Like, you know, the, the stuff that I'm like, nah, that's too much. Oh my. It all goes, to, occasionally people send it to me on like Instagram or something like, send it to Rob. Yeah. Send it to Rob. I'm not living my life having to fucking... Knowing that at any point someone can send me some fucking graphic shite. Honestly, like I've got it like on a computer rather than on my phone because like, I don't need that coming in all the time. Oh no, you don't but, want like, that pinging just before you go on stage. It's insane how much we've got. Like honestly, people could stop sending us in, and I could do this show for a hundred years. <laughs> Really, mate. The the bull. The, the, the I've got hundreds of videos. Keep them coming. I think you should put a disclaimer on as well for any week. We do have a disclaimer at the like start me. of the video. We, we do have a disclaimer at the start yeah. of the no, podcast. I mean for guests. <laughs> <laughs> you but, were warned. You knew what you were coming into. I did not warn him at all. I did a little bit. Did you? Well, he knew about the combutty. No, no. I explained the combutty to him. You know, to give him a flavour. Combutty. Yeah. I was just thinking. No, we don't. We call yeah. it a cum sandwich round my What uh, do yeah. you call cum it? Cum barm. Cum cob. Cum barm. Fuck off. You're really angry. Really upset. Fucking hate that. Shit. I hate that chat. Yeah, it's just fucking. It's just. Chat, it's it? just literal fucking getting people to engage. I don't know why people engage with it. It winds me right yeah. up. Fuck off. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> oh god this fucking podcast mate i think that's about th- the episode i it? think that this podcast is seeping into my fucking yeah oh yeah it's getting everywhere mate i'm Seep- definitely a worse person now as long as you don't seep into your orbitons you know, right? <laughs> <laughs> mate, i genuinely i walk around like i I, uh, I remember these videos and i fucking piss myself laughing all the time it makes me really laugh Makes it, like, I especially like having guests on to show them to. It's just very, like my fun is watching you watch them. And I've got a great video of it. Yeah, it's I've got a beautiful. great video of you gagging. <laughs> you look really upset. I'll put it on. Uh, I'll put it on Twitter. Yeah, we'll get it's it. On, we'll get it on the Instagram. Yeah. Oh. It's just the thought How are we going to convince guests to come back and do a second one? Well, you know, we've got nice kebabs around the corner, isn't it? I know, but th- those kebabs are doing a lot of heavy lifting. Look, we'll just keep... Look, th- there's always fucking new comedians. We can keep cycling through them. Yeah. They might not be good. Naive. Naive open spots. Yeah, we'll just do that. <laughs> Give them the promise of exposure. Well, you said you wanted to be a star. <laughs> <laughs> You get between 10 and 15 extra Twitter followers. Gonna, so you I will. can get you on Beat the Frog, you know. There's going to be another <laughs> There's going to be another Me Too moment in 10 years of, yeah. of people coming out of videos you've shown them on podcast. <laughs> yeah. Me Too. Me Too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, man. My favourite one. Oh, fucking hell. Right, I think we've done about long enough on this episode. Uh, J- uh, Jamie, is there anything that you'd like to plug? Well, Please I'll, plug. I know that you're uh, you're doing uh, uh, cameo videos under the pseudonym uh, Naked Martin. <laughs> I don't know, Naked I'm, Jamie. I, I don't know if I want your listeners to follow me. Now. <laughs> yeah, um, to be honest, you probably uh, don't. Oh, um, uh, a very softer podcast I do, Hot Water's Green Room Pod. Uh, Freddie's been on. We'll obviously get you on yeah, Rob as yeah, well. Yeah, haven't yet. Um, but, you, you, know, know. Got, you got to get the big hitters on first. You know, what very, mean? very um, big hitters. We, the big bone hitters. <laughs> we had a fucking great episode. Yeah, yeah. Me it's and a glass podcast. Like, Jenny, check out the Green Room podcast. Aside from this one, yeah. uh, that was the podcast where I thought someone's going to kick off. Yeah. Because me and Jamie, especially, I think, fucking put the boot in. We were nice. tired and cranky weren't we yeah, yeah. yeah tony's just lovely so he was just being uh, yeah, dead nice dead good vibes then you two horrible fucking mess. he talked about fucking when he used to uh be a salon <laughs> oh i did get in trouble for this directors for me didn't they yeah because yeah. oh mate he, t- he talks about when he used to work <laughs> he, one of his jobs was ringing up salons mm. right uh <laughs> <laughs> I, I basically convinced him to take girls on for work experience and uh-huh. stuff. But he was talking about how the city centre salons like the girls a certain way. Uh-huh. They won't take fat girls. <laughs> so I, I'd interview, you know, 16 to 18 year olds. Yeah. And the interview process, it was just like hole in the world. Yeah. And a, and a, and a fat bird would come in, smash the interview. Yeah. So I'd go, oh, well, and I'd say to my manager, like, I think she'd do well in a... Suburban. Uh, yeah, in X, Y, or Z. So and she went, I went, she got 10 out of 10 on the interview. She answered really well, yeah. really well developed answers, gave examples. She was great. And management would just go, 
she's not town centre. Wow. <laughs> As yeah. in, she's a fat cunt. So essentially, yeah. you're kind of being a paedophile because you got to see, <laughs> you see 16 to 18 year olds in and you're, Pedophile. you're trying yeah. to rate them out of 10 to see what fucking sound I mean, I mean, I feel like, like I feel like I could do that job. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think Freddie would very much enjoy that. <laughs> That's a minging kid. Next. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. It's so funny, but it yeah. is so true, though. Yeah. It's so fucking... Yeah. Yeah, but the the former directors phoned me and got in touch and told me to, like, you can't be saying that. Oh, that Why? Kind of what are they going to do? Fire I you? I know, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, Hot Water Screen Room Pods, wherever you get your podcast, Twitter and Instagram. I'm at Jamie H Comedy. Um, follow me on there because I'm going to do a couple of work in progress shows in the autumn. One in Manchester, one in Liverpool. Sick. It's about time we did a proper show, mate. I'm dead yeah. excited. It's going to yeah. be good. So it should be good. Yeah. When, are you, are, have you got dates for that? Uh, not yet, no. Well, when you do, we'll share them on the Twitter and all that. We'll yeah, get them man, I might mate, actually so. come down and have a watch. I won't. You know? uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. No, but you won't. <laughs> Probably. Probably. No, I'm you might. You won't. I'll wait till we're doing a preview together or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll see it. I'll go with support. <laughs> nah, we, we've, I've done enough for you. <laughs> Where are you doing in Manchester? Is it, I don't know yet, because Gulliver's is like 40 seats, that's like mm. a nice little work in progress room, so I might do a couple there, mm. on one, like the small room. We're, we're doing the frog. Are we, doing, are we doing a show in Manchester? Yeah. We are. We've done uh, two, actually, aren't we? Yeah, we're doing two. two. At the Frog. Nice. Uh, at the Frog. May the 18th. Yeah. Oh, no, no, May the 15th. No, May, the, May the 18th, June 15th. Yeah, 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 yeah. One of them, anyway. Wednesday's in June. Look yeah. They are. It's going to be a fiver. Yeah. Tickets are available in our link tree uh, yeah. on the Frog and Buckets website. Already getting a few people messaging, saying they've bought tickets, screenshotting yeah. and stuff. We're getting comedians down. They're going to roast each other. We're going to roast them as well. When is it? When is, when's the first one? May is the um, first one. We'll get you on in April then. So it's out in May. You can plug on ours That'd as well. That'd be great. Yeah. 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 Sweet. It's going to be dead good fun. Uh, so it's going to be all roasts and stuff. There's going to be like there'll be some surprises. There'll be some fun. And uh, yeah, I might. Uh, you know, you've I'll, got I'll, a really mischievous little grin. I've got. I've got a couple of plans. So I think it's going to be a very fun special event, mm, mate. Yeah. It's going to be a fuck. There's going to be a pole dancing bit in the middle. <laughs> Like, right, we're, we're already resigned to losing our deposit on the venue. Yeah, it's turds been... falling off of the floor, some bald man coming, smearing him all over himself, dumping fucking Arabiata on his head, yeah. and <laughs> rubbing it into oh, his head. You don't chart. want to do Arabiata, it's spicy. Yeah. <laughs> it's, um, it's a bring your own Dolmio event. <laughs> BYOD! <laughs> <laughs> Front three rows might get cheesy. Oh, <laughs> laxatives God. are available. Laxatives are available. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking brutal, mate. But it'll be... Uh, yeah. It's just a really nice event for really grubby cunts. Yeah. And if anyone takes it too far, then you can go on stage and just slap them. Yeah. I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to be slapping some open spots. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm going to do whenever an open spot does a shit joke at our show just walk up on stage slap him and go take that joke out of your mouth <laughs> there needs to be more of that yeah anyway Jamie thanks for coming on mate it's been yes, a mate. fucking pleasure Absolutely. and uh, yeah we'll catch you again next time fuck off <laughs>